Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, May 30. 2024. I pray that you are doing well and I pray that you are in good health. I hope that your families are doing well also and I pray the Lord's blessings be on you today and as you go throughout the day may you remember to cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. Our reading today comes to us from Ezekiel chapter 28 reading from verse 12 to 15 and it says, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus, and say unto him, Thus say the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardis, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets, and of thy pipes, was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Thou art the anointed cherub that cover it, and I have set thee so thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. Amen. We thank God this morning for his holy words. Now the reading this morning is very interesting. It is described Describing Satan before his fall, before he committed sin and was thrown out of heaven. It says that what? He was perfect. He was the perfect sum of wisdom and beauty. He was so beautiful. And verse 13, he lists the precious stone and said that this precious stone was his covering. So it means therefore he was so beautiful beautiful he was so magnificent god made him so amazing that he was a sight to be old and maybe that is what started to get to him head so he was well recognized in heaven and all the angels in heaven looked up to him so he was leader of the angels in heaven god gave him command so he was where gabriel is right now so he was the commander our second in command because god gave him that position and so he was covered with all manner of precious stone and these precious stone in our world today they are priceless and expensive but they are among some of the most beautiful elements that exist in our world today so these are the things that was a part of his defining beauty the anointed cherub so he was standing basically next to god he was god right hand man but it still wasn't enough for him he wanted worship too so because he was so well recognized and because he was such a sight to behold he wanted god's throne as well and he wanted to be god and so jealousy and pride and envy started to form in his heart because here we we understand from, from the reading that after a while he was corrupted the bible says that what he was perfect in all his ways until the day that iniquity was found in his heart and that should be a lesson to us that we should learn to be content that we should learn to be humble in whatever state we find ourselves until god find it fit to bless us further because we see here we're being beautiful having everything being commander of the angel working next to god it wasn't enough for him and so we ourselves sometimes we are in the same same boat in the sense that we don't learn to be content it doesn't matter how much we have it seems like we can never be satisfied and sometimes we become envious of others we start to wish bad for others we start to think thoughts like we should have this and they shouldn't but that is not the right attitude and that kind of thinking that kind of behavior is only going to make you fall on your face just like what happened to lucifer his pride and his lack of humility 
and contentment drove him to commit blaspheme against God and to sin against God. And even after he sinned, he was so full and consumed by this evil that he would never even admit that he was wrong and confess and apologize. Now, are we guilty of these things? Question. Something to think about. Perfection and sustaining perfection can only happen and come from God. And that is why the Bible said that what? We must strive to be perfect because God is a perfect God. When God created this world, every time he accomplished a day of creation what did he say behold it was very good so god doesn't do things halfway and when he's doing something he do it to make it the best thing ever so when god made you you were perfect you were beautiful and you still are god made you beautiful the bible says that we were created in his own image and so god image it needs no fixing up and neither do you the only thing about us that need to fix is our character that's what need to fix and that is why i believe that it is disrespectful when we mangled our bodies and we try to disfigure ourselves because that's what i call it we say that we are beautifying ourselves but i think that we are disfiguring ourselves because we are still stepping out of God's original plan for us and his blueprint so we are making all kind of markings on his blueprint because we think that he made some kind of mistake he didn't make us how we were supposed to be made and so we got to do the necessary improvement and why do you think we do these things we do these things because we are also looking worship from others we want others to acknowledge us we want others to praise us and if someone don't praise us we don't feel like we are worth anything we want someone to always have us up on a pedestal and i wonder why i would think that all of us should aspire to be humble but we somehow want to pull ourselves out of the corner of humility and rise ourselves up above where we are to be in other words saying like satan said he wants to what ascend above the most high and i say this to say that we must be humble we must learn to accept the gift that god has given to us he has given us the gift of beauty he made us into his own likeness into his own image and when he made us he didn't make us for us to glorify ourselves but to glorify him and because satan glorified himself he was thrown out of heaven because remember that sin cannot stay cannot stay in the presence of god and so if you and i are committing and practicing sin we are only endangering ourselves we are only separating ourselves from god and so i pray this morning that as we think about this reading and as we examine this reading that we will not allow ourselves to fall in this same position like lucifer or satan we still have a chance to make it right we still have a chance to repent he has lost all that opportunity and his probation is closed forever but you and i god can still till redeem us and so i pray this morning that we will understand that humility is very important and critical for our development not only as christians but also as individual you ever heard the saying that pride go it before a fall okay so may we take a page from this lesson and may we use it to examine ourselves to see if we are guilty of not walking according to the will of god and may we seek to change course and to follow him god where he lead us amen